Hi lovelies. I hear those sleigh bells ringling, jing, jing, jingling, and that means that the festive season has finally arrived and I for one could not be more excited. Now I know after a rather low key holiday season last year, a lot of people are looking forward to doing some entertaining this year. Uh, and if that's the case in your house, then today I'm really excited to be sharing an easy but impressive appetizer idea that tastes incredible but comes together with just five simple ingredients. They're these cranberry brie bites and you won't believe how mouthwatering they are. They're ooey and gooey, sweet and savory, tender little morsels of deliciousness that your whole family will devour, I promise you. And they just couldn't be easier to make. So to get started, we are going to be using some crescent roll dough. So this is just Pillsbury crescent roll dough that I bought in the refrigerated aisle at my supermarket. And what I like to do is just lay it out on a cutting board and start by pinching the seams together because the seams are on a diagonal. So it's really important to pinch them together to make sure you've got one flat sheet of dough. If you've got kids in the house who are a little bored, this is definitely a fun appetizer that they could help prepare. In my experience, getting kids involved in the process of making food always helps them want to eat that food afterwards. Now that I've got all of my dough sort of pinched into a single sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and use a pizza cutter to cut this into 24 equal squares. If you're a novice cook, not to worry. This is a very forgiving recipe. There's not much you can do to it that will mess it up. And then I'm gonna transfer these squares to a mini muffin tin. So it's really important in this recipe to use a mini muffin tin as opposed to a full size muffin tin. And that's because you wanna make sure that these are little and bite size, appetizer size. And the mini muffin tin, of course, is gonna help us achieve that. So next it's time to fill each of these cups with some brie. So I basically just started with a nice big wheel of brie and cut it into cubes. And I'm gonna add one cube to the center of each of my pieces of dough. Don't be afraid in this recipe to add a nice big chunk of brie to each of your muffin cups. The brie of course is the star of the show here and its flavor really, really mellows out during the cooking process. So you don't have to worry about an overpowering brie flavor. It can definitely make you a brie believer if you are not already. I should also mention if you're not a fan of brie, you could swap in some cream cheese here for something a little tangier. It would still taste really, really delicious. So once you've got your brie in your dough, it's time to go ahead and add your cranberry sauce. Of course, you always have the option to use homemade, but I highly recommend using store-bought here instead. This is one of those places where a supermarket shortcut will be just as good as the homemade version. If there's one thing I've learned after all these years, it's to try to be kind to myself over the holiday season. I'm pretty notorious for spreading myself a little thin, and I have had to get better at that since having kids because of course they're already very demanding. So you know, I take shortcuts where I can, and I don't sort of overextend myself anymore because it's just not worth it. You don't feel good afterwards, and that is not the spirit of the holidays. Use that store-bought cranberry sauce, folks. Nobody is gonna judge you. They're just gonna say, oh my gosh, these brie bites are delicious. They look so beautiful. How did you make these? You can tell them how easy it was. Or you could tell them that you slaved away, made everything from scratch, and that's fine too. I won't tell anyone. If you're not a fan of cranberry sauce, you can totally swap in a different kind of jam in this recipe. So like a strawberry or blueberry jam, blackberry would also work really well. You could use a fig jam or even some red pepper jelly. That would be absolutely divine here. For my final step, just before I get these into the oven, I'm going to be topping each of my brie bites with a little sprinkle of chopped pecans. Now this is absolutely optional, but I do love that toasted nutty flavor you get from it, and also that little bit of crunch. All right, these are prepared. They are ready to hit a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes or so. You wanna keep a close eye on them and just as soon as that crescent roll dough starts to become nice and golden around the edges, you know it is time to get them out of the oven and get them into your belly. I highly recommend serving these immediately straight out of the oven while they're still nice and melty. I like topping them simply with just a little sprig of fresh rosemary for a little bit of a festive touch. And honestly guys, these are not to be missed. They are totally delectable and as you saw, so easy to make. 
Another amazing part about this delicious appetizer is that it can be prepared a day in advance and then stored in the refrigerator until you're ready to bake it. You can bake it straight from the fridge and serve it nice and hot. How much easier does it get? I really hope you guys will give these a try for yourselves and that you love them as much as I do. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations, especially your holiday ones. The full recipe, as always, is linked in the description box below so you can find it there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.